So here we have to solve uh, this equation for x. To, to do this, we're going to use something called the square root property. So the square root property says if you have a variable, which I'll call x squared, equal to a number, what you can do to solve for x is simply take the square root of both sides. And when you do that, on the left-hand side, you just get x. And on the right-hand side, you get a plus or minus. And then here we have the square root of a. So here we'll start by first isolating the squared part. So we'll start by adding 5 to both sides. So plus 5, plus 5. That'll leave us with 3x minus 2 squared. And that's equal to 5. All right, so now to get rid of the squared, we use the square root property. That means we take the square root of both sides. On the left-hand side, we just get 3x minus 2. And the important part from the square root property is that here we get a plus or minus. So plus or minus the square root of 5. We still have to find x. So in the next step, we'll just go ahead and add 2 to both sides. So plus 2, plus 2. That leaves us with... 3x equals 2 plus or minus the square root of 5. To finish, we simply have to solve for x. So since it's being multiplied by 3, we'll just do the opposite or inverse operation, which is division. So we'll divide both sides by the number 3. And that leaves us with x equals 2 plus or minus the square root of 5 all divided by the number 3. And those would be the answers to this problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.